Okay, in this video, I want to talk about how to change the original coding to modify the control of the character. For example, by default, the cursor is locked and invisible in the game mode, but uh, we can change it. In the starter assets input script at here, you can unlock the cursor so you can see the cursor on the screen. Also, the character's rotation direction is controlled by mouse and the WASD keys are used to make turns. But uh, I don't want this. I want to control the rotation direction only if I hold the mouse right button so I can release the mouse to do other operations, which could be convenient in the building games, uh, strategy games, etc. So in the script of starter assets inputs, uh, we can make some changes. First, we change the default value of cursor locked to be false, so the cursor will be unlocked and visible at the beginning of the game. In the onLook function, if cursor input for look is true, as well as the right button is pressed, that the mouse control the looking direction and also make the cursor locked and invisible. Otherwise, the mouse won't control the looking direction, but I want it to be confined in the game window. Also, let the look input reset to zero, meaning that after the red button is released, stop turning directions immediately. Okay, now in the game mode, I'm not holding the red button, so the cursor is free to move, and it won't control the character. You can only control the walking direction of the character using WASD keys, but the camera direction won't change. Now I'm holding the right button. Cursor is locked and disappeared, so I can control the looking direction using my mouse. In addition, as I mentioned, I reset the value of look input to be zero after I release the red button. What will happen if I don't do that? Let's comment uh, this line out. In the game mode, if I turn the mouse quickly, even I stopped now, the camera will continue rotate around the character because the delta value from mouse input sometimes is not back to zero. Certainly, this is not what I want, so I have to add a line of code here. Also, if you think the default rotation speed is slow, you can go to Actions, find the Look action, and find the Delta properties. In the processors, change the value of X and Y in the Skill Vector 2. If I make them three times larger, you can see the rotation is faster now. Let's put them back to the default value. We can also change this in code. Go to the third person controller script and find the camera rotation function. You can see the code here. Now we can add a variable called rotation speed and change the code here to modify the default rotation speed value. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching.